Welcome back to World Crisis Radio. This week we're in Reykjavik, Iceland. We commend again Obama, the postmodern coup, making of a Manchurian candidate. Obama, the unauthorized biography, and surviving the cataclysm, your guide through the worst financial crisis in human history. You can find ways to order those through www.tarpley, T-A-R-P-L-E-Y, Dot net that uh, website will be upgraded but even now you can get all of the uh, relevant books uh, through there including the foreign language german japanese french italian spanish translations of various of my books and now of course no program is complete without the legal battle to force the elitist Obama to come clean with the American people and tell us finally where was he born, what country is he a citizen of, how old is he, because that's a very relevant point also. And as usual, we're very happy and honored to be uh, joined by the Alpha Bertha, the founder of the birth certificate and uh, related questions uh, at the Supreme Court in August of last year, and that's Phil Berg in Philadelphia. Phil, I'm over here in Reykjavik, so please tell us the news. Well, first of all, what's the news? What are you doing out there in Iceland? I've just been, well, we've told them the whole, uh, the broadcast has been devoted to that. This is a country that's fighting for its life against the British, the Dutch, and the uh, the IMF and the European Union. The British claim that the uh, Icelanders owe them $6 billion, or maybe it's 20 billion pounds, uh, and they don't want to pay. So there's uh, interest in a debt moratorium. Um, uh, Tell them to uh, hire me on. I'll come up there and fight for them. How's that? <laughs> Wonderful. I'll do that. <laughs> um, speaking about the issue that I've been involved with now for 14 months, um, we're coming up to a critical date this month. We have a hearing, unless they put it off, on the original case that I filed on, and the judge dismissed it for standing. And for your listeners out there, standing is the uh, proceeding where uh, if you, to be able to proceed in court on a certain issue and the court ruled, uh, Judge Surik in the federal court ruled that I didn't have standing, Webster doesn't have standing, no one in the United States has standing, um, and perhaps in the future Congress will decide who has standing to challenge the U.S. Constitutional, uh, Constitution. How absurd is that? The Tenth Amendment reverts back to anything that's not discussed, to we the people. So there's a hearing, that's a case that I bypassed, went to the Supreme Court on for certain injunctions. But the main issue on standing is now listed for argument, on October 26th, this month, October 26th, the United States uh, Third Circuit Court of Appeals, which sits in Philadelphia, the Third Circuit covers Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. So we are hoping that the court will continue that, I mean, have the case on that day. As it gets closer, they can change their mind or reschedule. We're hoping it goes forth on October 26th. And at that time, we're hopeful that even the national media decides to get off their duffs and come and cover the case because I believe that this case and the other cases around it, I have three cases pending in federal court, I think this is the most significant case in our history because the Constitution is in question. As far as I'm concerned, the Constitution must be followed, must be adhered to. But it remains to be seen, but everyone stay tuned. And uh, if we're having that hearing, um, and you'll know about it right before, that we'd like as many people to show up as possible in the Third Circuit Court of Appeals. We're getting close, October 26th. I have two other cases pending, but before I go into that, I think the issue here, and Webster, there's no one who's been more helpful in this issue than you, but for any new listeners of Webster or listeners from the past who haven't done it, please direct everyone to our website, obamacrimes.com, O-B-A-M-A-C-R-I-M-E-S dot C-O-M, obamacrimes.com, and read it and send it on to everyone you know. You know, the people that are obviously with us on this position, fine. But people, if, if some of you aren't sure, send it on to all your friends, neighbors, associates, and ask them to read it and send it on to everyone else. We need the public aware of this. I think that even if the courts sit back on this, that if we can raise the public awareness to 75 to 100 million people, we can demand the truth. And that's all we want, because when I first filed my lawsuit, I said, Obama, prove me wrong. Show me documentation that you are a natural-born citizen. He has not. Instead of that, he has spent over $1.6 million fighting my lawsuits and the other lawsuits around the country. Just think about it, people. You don't spend that kind of money unless you're hiding something. I think in addition to a financial crisis in this country, we are in a constitutional crisis. Uh, someone asked me this morning, you know, what happens? Well, when he's legally removed from office, we don't know. 
But, but you know, the first thing I would do is hold a news conference because I think some of the judges are afraid to touch this issue for fear that there may be a race riot in this country. Well, there shouldn't be a race riot because the only one responsible for this is Barack Obama. He's not a dummy. He went to Occidental College, Columbia University, Harvard Law School, head of the Harvard Law Review, graduated, became an attorney, and taught constitutional law, according to him, for 10 years. He knows what he's doing. He knows he's a phony. So please don't destroy property. Don't injure or kill other people. Hold Obama and his close people around him. Subject them to the criminal justice system where they belong, and those that are convicted should go to jail. But this issue is critical because our country right now, remember, this Constitution has been in existence for over 230 years now, and people around the world fight for fight for the right uh, to have rights that we have developed in this country. We fought, people fought and died so the, the United States of America could come about from the British. You know, we have a very successful Constitution. Our forefathers worked on the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. Let's not give up on what we have. Let's not give up on what, you know, um, what has been going on. Let us not have our country destroyed by this individual who is out on his own, uh, basically, horse. Uh, many things he's doing now I disagree with. I, I try not to get into the issues because the most important issue is the U.S. Constitution. And, for instance, though, the Tea Party people, some of the leaders there don't want anything to do with us. It's wrong, Tea Party people. Bring the issue out. You know, if, if my issue is right, which I believe it is, then all the issues you other groups are fighting for are meaningless because they'll fall by the wayside because Obama is a, a usurper and everything he's done is void or voidable. So this is, this is where my position is. So I really need people to spread the word. And also, it's now 14 months we're into this. If people can make a financial contribution, it, it would help us. The other two suits, one deals with the uh, retired Air Force Colonel Hollister. It's on appeal. Um, in an interpleader action, he asked if I am, he served for 20 years, he's on ready recall by the president. If I'm recalled by the president, do I obey the order because it's coming from a legit president, or do I disobey the order because it's coming from someone who is um, uh, a usurper and not proper? And the other case deals with the uh, False Claims Act, where our position is that he not only is not uh, natural born, he's not naturalized, he's an illegal alien. His mother sent him back here, and he never did what he had to do to become a naturalized citizen. So therefore, his term for three and a half to four years as the United States Senator from Illinois was phony fraud, and therefore the money and benefits he received, totaling about a million dollars, should go back to the U.S. Treasury. So we have solid cases here. We're the only ones here who really are staying direct on it with Obamacrimes.com. Please, please, everybody, you know, go to our site, spread the word about our site, support us, because we just want the truth. And since we've had time, since Obama has fought us, we came up with the fact of the adoption over in Indonesia. I mean, we followed through. He mentioned in his book, and therefore he was a natural citizen of Indonesia, and after that he could not come back here as natural born, even if he was born in Hawaii. Um, also, the big issue is, what's his real name? Is his name... Barack Hussein Obama, we think not. When he was adopted, his name became Barry Soturo. If he hasn't legally adopted his name, legally changed his name since that time, his name is Barry Soturo. So, so every state where he signed his name and went on the ballot as Barack Hussein Obama would have been fraud. Also, there's another issue which has come out recently, and that's the fact of what was sent out to every state. There's a, the uh, Democratic National Committee sent two different uh, forms out, one to Hawaii because the only one who required that the president be constitutionally eligible. But the other one, they took the sentence out saying that Obama was constitutionally eligible. Why would they take that out unless the DNC knew knew the fact that he was not a natural-born citizen? So there's a lot of people in, implicated in this. It's, it's the biggest hoax in our country, and I hope that uh, I need you to continue backing what you do, Webster, and everyone's great followers of Webster. So we'll, and I need we'll the you percent. One last thing. Is there a time of day and an address for that court appearance on the 26th of October in Philadelphia? Um, it's at uh, Fifth and uh, Fifth and Market Street in Philadelphia, and I think I'll get it back with a date. I believe it's in the morning. Uh, but I'll, I'll okay, that by so next week. mark that in your calendar, the 26th of October, turnout and support Phil Berg and the Constitution in Philadelphia. And we'll be back next week with World Crisis Radio.